it's my pleasure to open uh, the website uh, of Global Child Prodigy Awards. Let me start by paying tribute to the staff, to the initiators, to all to the sponsors, to all those who have made uh, these things possible. Uh, this is very important, and you have done a great job, and I, I want to thank, uh, thank you all. But of course, even more, I want to thank uh, and honor all the child prodigies, all the young people with big dreams, big ambitions, big talents, if you want uh, to award. There's huge progress in the world. For the first time in human history, nearly all children in nearly all countries start schooling. Some nations, the quality of schools are not that good, but have, except for some war zones, all children start in school. But they need to learn more to be better educated, but also they need to follow the talents going beyond education, talents in sports, in arts, in science, uh, in public affairs, wherever they have, have a talent. The more young people follow the talents and the dreams, uh, the more we will achieve uh, in, uh, in, this, uh, in this world. And of course, children, uh, as Nelson Mandela said in the opening, uh, uh, opening quote, uh, children is the biggest asset of any nation. Children are the, the, the platform upon which they will build uh, our common, uh, common uh, uh, future. It's my honor to open this web page and I will give you two main reasons why I think this is so important. First of all, uh, there is an enormous pool of talent out there. So many young people have talents which are undiscovered uh, and they should follow these talents because then they will achieve more. Obviously not everyone can do everything. I mean, not every soccer player can score the final <laughs> goal in the World Cup. Uh, not every talented young singer will be able to, uh, to, to sell millions of albums. Not every talented young politician will be the Prime Minister of India. Not everyone can reach everything, but everyone can achieve quite a lot. And if people follow their dreams, they will come longer. And secondly, these talented young people can inspire others. Uh, I have never met a person with no talents. Every single human being has ta ha have talents in one way or the other. Uh, and if you nourish these talents, try to discover them, if you speak at people rather than keeping them down, uh, they will follow their dreams and talents, and then, th then we will reach the moon. If, people, if young people follow the talents, we will reach the moon, we will excel in arts, we will build civilizations much better uh, than previous people. But then we, we should build upon those who are specially talented, that we should nourish the talent uh, of all. Number one is very simple, follow your dreams. If you are particularly talented in an area, don't shy away from it, follow it, play soccer, play the piano, sing beautiful songs as you just heard a Norwegian folk song from, played from the United Arab Emirates, what, what, what a treat. Uh, follow your dreams into green politics, uh, or uh, into science, whatever is your field. If you follow your dreams and not allow anyone to tell you you should not do it, you will come a long way. Second, look for advice, look for mentors. Uh, if you are 12 years, even if you are the most talented young person in, in, in your field, still there will be old, elder people you can learn from. Uh, you can learn from an older scientist or a star in politics or a star in soccer or, or cricket or whatever ever sports and look to them. When I was a uh, young politician in Norway, I tried to look into what, what are really the great speakers, what are the people who can turn around the crowd by speaking well. I could not, of course, be a great speaker like uh, Nelson Mandela uh, or Bill Clinton or whoever is, is a great speaker, but at least I could learn from them and, and improve myself. And if you can even have a mentor who can, you can relate directly to, I think that that will serve you, serve you well. And last um, uh, advice, which I know is very much on the, uh, on the, uh, on the in the line with the Global Child Prodigy Awards, never stop learning. We are, we, are, we are never at a page where we have learned enough. Some people are 97 years old and still continue learning. Some people stop learning at a young age. We all understand who, we, who, will, who will make the most. 
So even if you are very talented, if you have done a lot, even if you know with yourself that you're better than many others, don't stop learning. You will never, uh, um, you will never be fully learned. You, you need to, to learn more. 